Welcome to my Abyssos, the Seventh Circle Guide. This fight pits you against Agdistus, who is now a very big tree. This fight has a lot of movement and a lot of reacting on the fly. This may even be the hardest fight of them all. Let's see what makes it make like a tree and tree. Before starting this fight, note that auto attacks can and will be hitting both tanks, not just one. If a tank dies, everyone else is now in danger of auto attacks based on enmity. Bow of Addis has two variations. The first is if she is holding both limbs close by, run far away. They will slam down in front of her, doing large AoEs almost up to the edge of her entire hitbox. They will hold there, giving you time to get closer. One of the two fists will have arrows appear in front of it, signaling a punch across the entire arena. You have a few seconds to dodge out of the way of the arrows. There seems to be no way to tell which fist will punch before the AoE appears. Also be warned that the AoE is just slightly bigger than where the arrows are. Hemithios' Holy hits all players with an AoE, forcing you to spread out. It does up to about 30k damage to all players. Be sure not to overlap, but the large arena makes this easier. But don't go too far though. Hemithios' Glare 3 hits the entire arena but the dead center, so you must quickly stack in after the spread. It otherwise doesn't do much. Just be quick on your feet whenever you see the cast. The second Bow of Addis variation comes in next. Her fist will be put together above the middle of the arena. This is your cue to get as close to her as possible. She will slam both fists down at the southern part of the arena, doing one giant AoE. There is no follow-up attack from this, but she will usually immediately move into another attack, like the first Bow of Addis. Immortal's Obel is a proximity attack in the dead center of the arena. Parts of the arena will also go dark. There will be three safe spots. One to the south, one northeast, and one northwest. Get as close to the edge of the arena as you can to minimize the damage. When the attack hits, all players will be launched into the air, with the red and black parts of the arena vanishing. This segments the arena into three circles with small paths connecting them. Bow of Addis works the same as it did before, but now the platforms work to mark the center of the AoEs. Dodging the close bow's punch also forces you to walk down the walkways, or just run lots. Hemithios' Arrow 2 is the tank buster of this fight, hitting both tanks. These are very large AoEs, slightly smaller than an entire platform. Make sure not to hit anyone else, keeping movement to a minimum where possible. Spark of Life is a heavy raid wide that also puts a 9 second bleeding dot on everyone. At points, he can spam this back to back, so be ready to heal up a bit. The base hit is comparable damage to the previous fights. Forbidden Fruit summons some fruit onto the platform. There are two possible things that come from the fruit. Neither of them can be attacked. The first type we see is doggies that will do AoEs around them. This entirely takes up the platforms they are on, forcing you onto a different platform when available, or the pathways between them. They will disappear after. Blades of Addis come out without any cast bars. It will do pairs of moving AoEs that walk down the pathways. There will be two pairs for this tutorial of them, making one of the pathways almost entirely safe. Be ready to move into position as the AoEs pass by, but don't move too quick either. These AoEs hurt and put vulnerability stacks too. A second Forbidden Fruit will go off, giving us the bird variety of summon. They will have target markers under them just to show you which direction they are pointing. They will dive across the arena in the pointed direction up to the edge. This first set makes a sort of triangle. Either be inside the small safe spots inside the triangle, or stand outside of it where you are not in the path of any of the birds. Anytime the arena will be brought back to the full circle, it will be signaled with Hemetheos' Glare 3. This hits on the center of the arena still, but the center is a hole currently. The moment the floor glows, run into the safe spot lest you be glared. This will be when the arena is restored to how it started.
With the full arena returned, Blades of Addis will go off with the full set of three pairs. Dodge behind one of the pairs after they pass by to avoid the other two pairs. Make sure to aim for the middle of where the pair started, at the edge of the arena so as not to be cliffed by the others. Forbidden Fruit will come out during the full arena too, paired with Hemetheos' Holy. It will place three fruit in a line, summoning the good dogs. This cuts the arena into two smaller safe sections. You may all be able to hide on one side for the holy, but it's better to split up a bit so you all have a good amount of room to spread. The arena will be split up again soon, most of the time of this fight being spent on the smaller arena. Forbidden Fruit can now be combined with Vow of Addis' far variety. It can be either dogs or birds, changing where the safe spot is. If it's birds, be towards the northern edge of the main platforms. If it's dogs, be on the northern half of the connecting platform. Either pattern, there isn't very much safe space. Another type of Forbidden Fruit adds in towers to the mix. At least one player must be in each tower when the Falling Orb lands, or it will explode and do lots of damage. However, our new friends are going to attack before then, so wait for the AoEs to go off, then move into the towers. You can all spread out while waiting for the friends to do their thing, so that you know every tower is covered before moving in. A final Forbidden Fruit type will combine birds and dogs living together, Mass Hysteria. This also brings in Hemetheos' Arrow 4, a knockback. The easiest solution to this is just hit Arm's Length or sure cast, then resolve the birds and dogs as you would normally. Otherwise, the ideal solution is to be knocked back toward a bird platform, then dodge to the safe side of the bird's dive. Essentially the same solution, just harder to perform. But then, that's it! She has very few actual moves and doesn't combine them in many different ways. It's a matter of reacting to them as they come out. Near or four, dog or burb, kill a tree. Thank you for watching this guide on Abyssos, the Seventh Circle. Leave a like, comment, sub, all that stuff. Follow my socials link below, and maybe follow my Patreon for more content like this. Take care and may the power of Anna Dead Hogs be waste to your enemies. And an extra special thanks to all my patrons over on Patreon, with an extra special thanks going out to Ashtree Dweller, Eamon Al Khatib, Benjamin Hahn, Benjamin Haynes, Benjamin Rice, Sadia Dio Sasan, Serix, Ethan Olson, Frazier97, James Hall, JB Hruska, Jericho, Kevin Lowe, Marlon Sebo, Mizella, Nick Griffin, Poppins205, Steven, T Rogue, Tim A, and Zero Two. Take care and have a good night.